Welcome back. So in the previous video, we have showed you the first use case for the use effect where we can use it on the page when the page is loaded. Now it's time for us to customize this part right here of the use effect, which is the second parameter. Okay. So with that being said, let's dive right in. So what I will do, very, very simple. So here I will go ahead and inject a button. Okay. And let's call it, for example, um, add or decrease or update or whatever, okay? And here I'm just gonna say constant, okay? We could say, for example, count, and let's say set count. This is very, very, like, generic, okay? I will say use state, and I will start with zero, okay? And here I will say add, and also I will render whatever the value of count okay this is very very simple if we go ahead and uh, first of all we need to a uh, function i'm just gonna say um, update count it should equal to a very normal function and the only function the only benefit of this function is to set count to be whatever the the, the value of count plus one so i will say count plus one okay this is one of the possible way to do that uh, but i will show you later on another value of updating uh, the 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 state using the use state hook because this function right here could also update the state in a different way but for the time being this is the easiest and the clearest syntax i am setting the count to be whatever the value of count plus one give it a save and of course, oh, we have we forgot to assign it for to only click right here and say it should be update count like so. And if we go back here, we can see, oops, I made something odd here. We don't need this dollar right here because I thought that I am in a, a dynamic or this uh, I, I was thinking that I am in uh, template literals, whatever. So if I click on add, we can see we are updating the value of the, the count, right? Now here's the interesting part. What I want to do, I want to call this function, the use effect hook, whenever the user click on our button or our count. So how we can do that? And this is a real example that I have showed you right here in our shopping cart. So whenever I increase or decrease the quantity, we are updating the total price, okay? And that makes sense, okay? So this is one of the cases that we have, we could run to, into. So we are gonna update the entire component or a small piece of it, in this case, our total price, depending on some actions in our, in our application. Here we are trying to update the books so here what I will do, I will give it another parameter, okay? So I will give it a comma to our use effect. And by the way, I will cut this code just to show you that. Here is our function, the first parameter. The second parameter is an array, okay? And in our array, we could tell it wherever we wanna, uh, whenever we wanna run this hook. So if we say count, okay? So whenever count got changed, we are gonna run this code right here. Make sense? So this is how we can tell the use effect like so. So it's gonna first of all run on the page load when the page load when the page is load. Then it's gonna run whenever we click on this button. So if I click it, we can see that our our um, hook right here didn't got called. And the reason behind it, it's already got called, but you didn't notice that because uh, the the we don't like we don't need to see the text loading right here because because the array is already filling it, it's it's not empty so we don't see the loading right here but the use effect got called and let me show you that so if I will say log right here I got called. Okay, and if we check right here, let me first of all clear our console. Okay, and if we refer first, of course, we are gonna get the same thing right here. We have, I got called. Okay, and if I keep clicking right here, we can see we got, I got, I got called. If I keep clicking, 
then we are gonna see it five six times whatever okay we can see it right here and that's coming from our log right here now if you are wondering why we don't see the text loading why we don't see the text loading whenever I click on it well because the array when when we click on our button we are not we are not setting the box to be zero to be an empty array so we can see our box the array it's not empty and if you wanna if you wanna like take it to the next level let me show you I will here change it to be a multi-line function so first of all we are gonna set the count but before doing that I will say set box to be an empty array so we are gonna like uh, clear the array inside our items then we are gonna rerun the use effect entirely so let me show you that so here if we we can see we are gonna we are gonna fetch all the books right here if i click it we are gonna first of all make the array empty then we are gonna rerun the entire hook which is the benefit of it to to, to set the box after two seconds again the dependency area right here is really really powerful okay and we have a lot of scenarios that we could run into while working with the uh, this dependency right here again you can give it a parameters whenever like anything got changed for example if you have another piece of state let's say for example it is age and here it is set age okay and it should start with zero so for example if you want to give it another piece of state we could say age and whenever one of these para one of these uh, piece of information got changed we are gonna run the use effect so you can give it as many items as you want over here so again this is also another part of using the use uh, the use effect with the dependency area it is really really powerful especially when you we are gonna build like a shopping card when we are gonna for example um, working with a login and sign up it can also be very handy so we have a small use cases that we could run into while uh, dealing with the dependency area of our um, use effect so again I hope this example make it more clear and uh, of course we have another example where we have to clear the use effect and this is another thing that we are going to discuss in the next few videos so with that being said I will see you in another one